Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Monday the 16th of May. After a short, seemingly now, a three weeks break, um, had a wonderful time, got around the country, saw some wonderful things, saw the glory of God's creation, and now back at work, back in the middle of the day, well, a bit later than the middle of the day today, looking at God's Word and sharing some thoughts around it. Today with Robert Murray McShane's reading scheme, one of the chapters we read is from Peter's first letter, the third chapter. And in verse 15, we read, But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope you have. And that's a verse that's quoted often, encouraging people to witness and to be prepared to share their testimony. But as I was reading it, I was struck by the fact that Peter's not encouraging people to do this from a position of comfort and strength and when life is good and everything's going well. It comes in the midst of a, of a section headed suffering for doing good. And he says, even if people treat you badly, don't treat them badly in return. Don't, don't return evil for evil, but bless them, do good to them, um, be different. And the two verses preceding verse 15, he says, who is going to harm you if you're eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. But in your heart, revere Christ as Lord and be prepared to give an answer. And so that's our encouragement. That's our challenge. That when people are against us, when life is against us, when things are going badly, even then we stand on Christ. And that's what will surprise people. That's what people will notice, um, that we're different to everybody else. And that's when they will ask us, what is the hope? What is the reason? Why, why do you behave this way? If we behave exactly the same as everybody else, we've got nothing to share. It's when we're different that we've got something to share with the people around us. And it's then that they will ask us. And it's then that we can always be prepared to give an answer to those who ask us. So be encouraged when life isn't going well. Peter was writing to people whose lives were not going well. And he said to them, don't expect that they will. Don't expect that people will treat you well. Be, uh, rest assured that life is complicated and sometimes there will be good, sometimes there will be bad. In all of it, God is with us. Christ is there and that is our hope. And that is what we have to share with the needy, and desperate world. So be encouraged as you, you walk with Christ through life, in the good times and the bad. Have a smile, share the good news, and know that you're blessed.